guys, it's Melbourne 7 here and today I'm bringing you Hoop Form's Best, the first proper episode. Obviously I did an introduction episode and that will be in the description if you want to know how this series works. Now, the one change I've made from the introduction, I said I would be playing three games per episode, but I'm only going to be playing one and the reason for that, in real life, in a cup competition, you have one game to perform better than your opponent and that is exactly what we're going to do here I'm going to do it as unbiased as possible I'm a Man United fan alright I've done this series on FIFA 14, FIFA 15 I think the first ever player to win this was Jovetic back in uh, FIFA 14 when he was playing for Man City so yeah I don't like favour Man United players it, it's a game for God's sake I'm not really bothered who wins but yeah essentially it's who performs best for me so whoever gets the highest match rating the first episode is Giroud versus Berahino they will then get the three points and the way I've done it is a group system so obviously there's three people per group they'll play everyone in that and then the winner of the group goes through to the quarterfinals and I've already explained that in the introduction episode so we'll leave it there check the introduction episode if you don't understand how the hell this works but anyway we're gonna get into the game what I will do at half time I'll switch Giroud over to the right and Berahin over to the left I'll do that every single time just to make it a bit fairer because in the last season in FIFA 15 a few people did suggest that and to be honest it does make it as fair as possible so anyway let's get into this let's play the game and see who performs best Giroud or Berahino. Alright so the team we come up against is just a solid Premier League team probably costs around 20k maybe less now but anyhow he does manage to take the opening goal here two minutes in and unfortunately I do concede uh, that was straight from kickoff to be honest but this is a very very high scoring game as you'll see I pass the ball off to Berahino, it's a great cross in, Giroud manages to hit that in to make it 1-1. And then the ball is played through to Giroud here, I'm holding the ball up pretty well, looking for space, De Bruyne just off the bar, and then it goes straight to Berahino for an easy tap in. But he does manage to get back in, I think I accidentally passed that back into the box and it's an easy finish for him. This is 20 minutes in, 2-2, but then Berahino showing some great strength there. But it comes out to Ander Herrera, lovely little turn back, then a Berber spin or a spin or whatever the hell you want to call it. And that's a great finish there to make it 3-2. But I leave my defence exposed and unfortunately it's 3-3. This game is so high scoring, honestly, you won't believe it. it uh, but I think that actually was offside, so now it's 3-3. So that goal you just saw wasn't actually a goal. But anyhow, he's made it 3-3 now and he takes the lead to make it 4-3, which is a, a bit disappointing there. But anyhow, Berahino here showing some great dribbling skills. There's no one to pass to. I decide to try and take a shot. He gets taken down, brought down. So he made the penalty. So I've took it with Berahino. That's the fair way to do it. If neither Giroud or Berahino take the penalty, uh, sorry, make it, then I'll give it to someone else. But Berahino made it and Berahino took it. And then manage, I managed to take the lead with David Silva. It's a great little verbal spin there. And then he just slots it in. And then I pass the ball off to Berahino, who's in so much space. I see the keeper off his line, and that is a wonderful chip there into the bottom left-hand corner to make it 6-4. And we're still not done. The ball is played into him, and that's a hell of a volley. That is brilliant to make it 6-5, but that turns out to be a consolation goal for him. Berahino making short work with these defenders, and then he gets another penalty. So again, because Berahino made it, Berahino is going to take it. And Berahino manages to smash that in to make it 7-5. And as you can see now, Barry Hino got a 9.5 rating and Giroud an 8.3. So that means that uh, Barry Hino gets the first three points in this group. And the other player in the group, as you will be able to see now, is Sergio Aguero. So we'll see who wins this group. Obviously, I would say Aguero is the favourite. But Barry Hino, a little dark horse maybe that could manage to get in because he is very, very overpowered. And I suggest you use him. It was a pretty good partnership, not going to lie. Giroud, tall. Uh, quite clunky at dribbling, but he's, he's a target man. And then Berahino's the little skillful dribbler with decent finishing. So yeah, Berahino won this episode. Let me know who you think is going to win this group. But anyhow, hopefully you have enjoyed. And yeah, peace.